Tsumaru Udon is a pioneer in the self-service udon restaurant business and was first opened in 2004 in Osaka, Japan by Mr. Masahiro Fujio, CEO of Fujio Food Systems, and currently has over 700 branches in Japan and around the world. The first franchise branch in the Philippines was opened in 2019 at Robinson's Place Manila by the Kabalen Group of Restaurants and currently has four branches around the metro. Today, we check out their branch at Ayala North Exchange in Makati. The concept is similar to its main competitor, Marogame Udon, where you line up at the main counter and be exposed to the sights and aromatics of their open kitchen, where you can place your orders and pick up some side dishes and pay at the cashier. Hi everybody, we just arrived at Sumaru Udon and Tempura here at the Ayala North Exchange in Makati, right next to the Makati Med. It's our first time here at the Ayala North Exchange, but really wanted to try out this major competitor in Japan to Marogame Udon. So they franchised it to the Philippines and very simple menu. One pager. We ordered quite a few dishes to try. So let's see how it is. Here you can expect affordable and freshly made wheat flour udon noodles, tempura, donburi, and assorted side dishes. From their menu, we would highly recommend the beef bukake udon, ebi tempura, pumpkin tempura, kitsune udon, zaru udon, and tendon. Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. I ordered their signature dish here. It's called the Bukake Udon, which is thinly sliced beef. And that's on top of their udon noodles, which is uh, thick wheat flour based noodles. Uh, and the broth is a soy mirin uh, dashi broth and it's with I added an extra soft boiled egg and comes with tempura flakes spring onions and for side dishes tempura kakiyage and additional kitsune which is uh, tofu marinated tofu I'm gonna start off with their tempura while it's still hot That is definitely authentic tempura. I wish the size was a bit bigger, but I mean, for 45 pesos, you can't complain. They definitely use real Japanese tempura flour for that. This kakiyage looks very interesting. I've never seen a kakiyage that looks like this, but it's quite a big vegetable tempura. Seems like not as crispy as I would expect it to be. Definitely not what I'm used to. I would not order the kakiyage here again. So in case you didn't know, this bukake udon in Japan is traditionally a summer dish and actually it's even supposed to be cold uh, udon with a cold broth, but here they serve it hot. The beef is extremely tender, very thin cut. It practically melts in your mouth. The udon itself, very bouncy noodles, uh, perfectly cooked.
it's slurpingly good. The broth is uh, sweet, a little bit on the sweet side, but salty and has a lot of umami. I would definitely order this bukake udon again. Okay, let's check the soft boiled egg. Oh yes, that is a gorgeous looking soft boiled egg. So, quite happy with this initial order except for the kakiyagi. Cheers, guys. Mm. I ordered kitsune udon. I love kitsune topping. It's a very delicate texture and also very flavorful. Here is also a big size twice where you normally can see in the restaurants, Japanese restaurants. Mm. Super flavorful. I think it's the most uh, authentic kitsune I've tried in Manila yet. Like, it's so flavorful. There is some tempura flavor. And, of course, udon. My favorite noodles. I will always choose udon over anything. For dessert, you guessed it. I'm having more udon. This is zaro udon. So this is a cold udon. See, you can see the ice cubes here. And this is served with a sauce and wasabi, ginger, and spring onions on the side, which you can mix into your sauce. I was hoping for a quail egg. Normally when you order zaru soba, it's with a quail egg. This does not have any quail egg. I don't know if it's supposed to be with quail egg here, but they didn't serve it with a quail egg. Mm. I normally have zaru soba, which is the buckwheat noodles, but that's very interesting with um, having it cold with the udon noodles. Had a very nice bite because the noodles are so thick. Oh. Well, I guess uh, the main things here that I'm enjoying was their udon. I really enjoyed that bukake udon. I think they had the best kitsune udon uh, in town. And I'm really enjoying this zaru udon as well. Their tempura is decent. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much it. So if you haven't had a chance to try this place out, now it's time. It's very affordable. Cheers, guys. For takeout, we ordered the tendon for Alexandra, which is the rice topping of ebi tempura and vegetable tempura with egg and sauce. 